I'm Dasi Posner, the APA Vice President for Awards, and it is my great honor to present the Career Achievement and Academic Theater Award, which honors individuals who are known for remarkable scholarly and creative contributions to the field, whose work has passed the test of time with its original thinking, and whose service has proven significant in shaping the field and the future of theater and performance. Awardees are authentic role models to colleagues and students, nurture the careers of others, and are effective champions of diversity in theater and education. This year's award recipient is Maria Delgado. Maria Delgado is, in the words of one of her nominators, the, quote, definitive critical voice on Spanish and Catalan theater, performance and film, as well as a brilliant and generous editor, translator, and theater artist. Her books include monographs on Federico Garcia Lorca and 20th Century Theater, and her wide range of edited volumes includes A History of Theater in Spain, Spanish Cinema 1973 to 2010, In Contact with the Gods, and Contemporary European Theater Directors. Many of her works have been translated into a wide range of languages. Delgado herself has translated the work of a range of dramatists, including Susana Torres Molina, Ramon Del Valle Inclan, Mario Benedetti, and Bernard Marie Coltes. These translations have been produced in countries spanning three continents. Beyond her own work as an editor, Delgado has profoundly shaped our field, both as co-editor of Contemporary Theater Review since 2001, and as a series editor for Cambridge University Press and Manchester University Press. As one of her colleagues effused, Maria Delgado has become the face of UK theater studies within Europe, North and Latin America without ever putting herself as a person in the limelight. In a time when the arts and higher education in general are ever more frequently reduced to mere commodities and economic factors, Maria has been one of the most engaging advocates in asserting the importance of stimulating critical curiosity and the transformative effect that theater can have on individuals of all genders, backgrounds, and ethnicities. Delgado received the Atha Award for Excellence in Editing in 2013. She is the winner of many additional awards, too many to list here, ranging from Commander of the Order of Isabella la Católica for her academic and curatorial work on Spanish culture, to the TAPRA Research Prize for Editing, to the, order, to the cross of the Order of Alfonso X the Wise, to, more recently, the Ramon Llull Award for her promotion of Catalan culture on the international stage. In the words of one of her nominators, Maria Delgado is, quote, an inspiring example of researcher, scholar, mentor, and activist in a struggling and demanding world, end quote. And to conclude with those of another, quote, she is truly an engaged citizen of our profession, a tireless advocate for our field's emerging scholars, and a role model for us all. Congratulations, Maria Delgado. Wow, um, thank you so very, very much to, at the, uh, for the Career Achievement Award. I, I can't quite believe it. Um, I am so grateful to you all, um, to Josh Abrams, who I hear assembled the nomination, and to all those who gave their time to write and support it. Uh, muchas gracias a todos. Uh, you're only ever as good as those you work with, and I have been so fortunate to work with so many amazing and generous people since I took up my first academic appointment uh, way back in 1988. Um, academic life uh, is ultimately, I think, about civic life about community, uh, those we work with as authors and editors, students and colleagues, the subject associations and wider groupings that we're part of. I think it's never, at least for me, about whatever that nebulous idea is that we understand as individual genius or the ownership of ideas. It's about how we converse and how we share. Community, I believe, is what sustains and supports us. It's what helps us make sense of the world. It encourages us to question. It's what propels us towards change. So a thank you to you all who have been a key part of these communities in my life. 
uh, IFTR, the, the series that I co-edit with Manchester and, and, and the second series I co-edit with Cambridge, the institutions that I've been part of, the editors and the contributors I've worked with past and present, and my colleagues, of course, at Contemporary Theatre Review. And finally, my family um, for all their support over many, many years. My father came to Britain from Spain as a child refugee in 1937. He was fleeing civil war and the horrors of fascism. He taught me that democracy is something that we always have to fight for, something that we have to negotiate. It's an ongoing discussion. We should never take it for granted. We should never see it as a given. I think that uh, in the world at the moment, we're all painfully aware of, of, of the challenges to democracy that we face and our own responsibilities to fight for those things that we believe in. Not everything that is faced can be changed, James Baldwin once wrote, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. And so I raise my glass to you all, or I would raise my glass if I had one in my hand, uh, and I raise it with gratitude and humility as we look ahead to what we face and what we need to change in these troubling times and work towards it with integrity and fervour. Thank you all so very, very much.